In this video, we'll cover the buyer's guide for PSA, the essential tooling and equipment, costs and pricing, update frequencies, the regions in which the tool is available, and much, much more. With PSA, what we've found over the last few years is they try to be groundbreaking vehicle manufacturers. They're always pushing the boundaries of adding new electronics, new technology. What they're trying to do here is put luxury refinement on vehicles, but for an everyday budget that most people have. This can lead to issues and problems when it comes to maintenance, repairs and fixing. When you add this together with the complexity of information not being available freely, historically, this has now been changed, of course, with the introduction of the manufacturer's websites and the Right to Repair Act. And of course, with the CERMID, the Restricted Access to Security, manufacturers have really, really hidden a lot of features and functions behind security access historically. So where do we start with PSA? Well, first of all, you're gonna need access to the Service Box account. Now, the Service Box is currently being migrated as PSA has now been amalgamated into the whole Stellantis group. This has caused several confusions and several issues with clients that have already already got accounts on the other Stellantis group portals, such as Vauxhall and Fiat and Alfa Romeo. Although registration is simple for those first time users, there can be some complex surroundings with regards to Vauxhall accounts and Fiat and Alfa accounts migration. However, we have a team of specialists on hand to help with those tricky situations. Some things to be aware of are, of course, misuse of company logos. These are tend to be frowned upon by most vehicle manufacturers. If you're trying to use those logos that the manufacturers have spent millions of pounds developing and awarding to their dealers behind their dealer service doors, then of course, access will be refused on those accounts. You will also currently need to be VAT registered for the PSA. However, we have heard recent rumors and recent news that this will probably be relaxed, hopefully in the near future, as they do realize that some workshops are not VAT registered. Although the vehicles are generally found in UK and Europe, the registration process on the Service Box portal can extend to countries as far as Australasia and North and South America and into Europe and North Africa. You might be seeing quite a few Peugeot Citroëns and you're wondering, is the full dealer diagnostic tool definitely for me? We are aware, of course, that there are solutions such as pass-through. Pass-through is a great option and a great alternative and is a great stepping stone from that aftermarket dealer tool up to your dealer diagnostic solution. However, in this case, Peugeot Citroën only recommend the reading functionality and the activations of pass-through. They don't actually fully endorse the coding and programming aspect as far as pass-through is concerned. So please bear this in mind as you may get yourself into a sticky situation that requires help and assistance from the manufacturer. Now the dealer diagnostic tool is the Actia VCI3, the latest generation tool. However, with some of the vehicles being built on the Fiat platform, some of the commercial vehicles also require an additional switch box that works in unison with the VCI. This is an essential piece of equipment if you're really working on motorhomes and light commercial vehicles. Vehicle coverage on the Diag box is roughly from 2008 up to current, covers all the latest protocols. Now you may be wondering about those old pieces of software such as Lexia 3 and PP2000. Unfortunately, that is not covered on the latest generation Diag box software. On the flip side, this tool is capable of working with Citroen, Peugeot, DS and the new Vauxhalls from 2020 onwards. So what do you get with the Diagbox software? Diagbox software, you get all the basic functionalities. The ability, of course, to read and clear your DTCs, to do your bi-directional testing, and of course, look at some live data. You also get the ability to do guided diagnostics through the diagnostic session. You also get the ability to do coding and programming, and really important, those software updates on those ECUs that are just falling below that minimum standard from the OEM. From the service box portal, you can also obtain the technical information side. So that includes the technical documentation such as repair manuals, wiring diagrams, component locations, and of course, those really, really handy hints and tips on those common issues and common problems that have been experienced. The Diagbox software, as mentioned, CERMI for quite a number of years now. However, CERMI was only really in its infancy in that instance. A lot of the Peugeot Citroen functions have been hidden behind this CERMI code. What that basically is, is a code that's shown within the software 
that then requires an algorithm code generator to give a counter code to unlock that specific feature. A perfect example of this may be when fitting a BSI. When you're fitting a BSI and you need to then program the hands-free identifiers or keys as we like to know them outside the industry, then of course you'll need that security level of access. This can be obtained by simply converting that out code into an algorithm in code now we have a product called the Code Wizard Pro 2. This is the perfect quick solution for generating those codes. It's also the most cost effective way. So on top of owning the equipment, you're now going to need to know what the subscriptions are. The subscription costs work slightly different to a lot of vehicle manufacturers when it comes to Peugeot Citroen. They like to work on a subscription per VIN number. The VIN number subscription can be quite useful if you're ordering parts and the parts are taking two or three days to come in, as this subscription gives you the ability to go back into that same vehicle VIN number for a period of up to seven days. However, if you're on a quick turnaround, then a time credit can be quite on the expensive side compared to some other vehicle manufacturers. Subscription costs can be up to 45 euros per vehicle. Technical documentation, however, can be had at a more affordable rate. These you can generally pick up from around nine euros per hour. Now the Peugeot Citroen dealers are running with a standard IBM ThinkPad laptop. For our aftermarket users, we would recommend something a bit more rugged and robust, such as the Dell 5430. This far exceeds the minimum specifications required by Stellantis, which are four gig of RAM, at least 11 gig of free hard drive space, and two USB ports. Hope you found this useful. We've created a buyer's guide specifically with all of this information in. We hope that you'll find it really useful as several hours have been put into making these buyer's guides as informative as we possibly can do. For more information and to view those buyer's guides, go to maverickdiagnostics.com. See you in the next video.